Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today we're going to be looking at the plane from set 3182, which is this impressive eight wide red and white jet. The first thing to mention about this plane is when I bought it, it was uh, very cheap indeed on the second hand market on eBay. And as a result, it has a number of issues, which I did know about ahead of time, but um, now I'm just getting around to sorting those issues out. So a few of the obvious things were that it doesn't have any pieces on the bottom, so it's missing its landing gear, both back and front. Now this is fine because I'm going to be positioning this aircraft in midair, attached to the wall and the ceiling of my Lego room, so I don't really want it to have any landing gear. Secondly though, it's missing its nice red underwing engines. But if you saw uh, a couple of videos ago on a brick hall, I saw some new engines. So I've got a pair of those. So that was pretty easily fixed. I won't attach them yet. Thirdly, we've got no tail fins. Now, again, that's relatively easily fixed, and I thought, why not use this as an opportunity to upgrade the tail fins, which usually come to a sort of strange point in the middle, which I didn't quite like. I decided to go for a more traditional triangular-shaped pair. Which looks a lot better, in my opinion. And I thought I'd augment that with some additional tail bits, like on the friend set 41109, by adding a little bit more colour to them by adding those bits. I think you'll agree that looks a bit smarter. Now, while I was here, I was deciding whether to go with this or a different shape, I decided to add a much more elaborate tail structure, much like the other red jet set 7894. So I know that in real life, planes don't usually have a high tail and a low tail. Usually it's the situation where they have rear mounted fuselage engines that they have, well, they have to have the high tail. But I quite like the look of both, so more the merrier. Also, when I'm attaching this to a wall, it will probably pinch, like my finger and thumb are, the tail to hold that uh, firmly in position, because these planes are quite heavy, and this high tail will help camouflage that, so it won't look as obviously held up. Now, while I was looking at set 7894, which basically is a similar jet, it's white with a red stripe down the middle, but it's got the grey fuselage on the bottom. So I like this one because of its bright red underneath, but it had a lot of wing details. So I also bought the pieces to add four of those, which is just a one by 12 red plate with two of these white slopes on and they kind of look like go faster stripes if you ask me so who doesn't think that looks better now again in real life very few jets have this i couldn't find any pictures of any who had it at all so perhaps they're just a fantasy feature that only lego have decided to add but I'm happy to go with it. Right, so there's the engines on as well. Sorry about hitting the camera there. So that looks fantastic if you ask me. Now it doesn't sit very well because I haven't got any landing gear. Now the last problem was the stickers on this set. Now I'd, I'd looked in the pictures and they all look pretty good in the fact that they were there. And I've moved them as much as I can, but 
they're very sun damaged so this one's not too bad i managed to pull that off and move it these two you can see they're so sun damaged that they're just falling apart as soon as you pull up any corner even if you use my patented hot tea technique and you can see this one is barely held on it's completely crazed I and mean, it's hanging on for dear life same with these as well and I can turn it around the same on the back this one's not so bad but the two at the front here the number is very badly crazed and this one you can see it's just the remains I just had to do some serious surgery to that just to try and move them into position so although it looks okay from a distance um, I was fairly sure I could do better so again if you looked at my brick haul two ago then you'll know that I bought a new back section with two stickers on a new front section with two stickers on the tail is printed in case you're wondering and the stickers on these wings are all fine as well another midsection door and two of these one is upside down so I mean they really are a pair like that but I can flip that round when I move them so I think the next stage in the renovation of this after the improvements that we've already done is to attack these stickers now the first sticker I'm going to try and address is the door now as I said before these are so sun damaged if I try and move these even when the glue is warmed up will just cause them to disintegrate into little pieces you can already see it's just flaking off at the corners and this is actually the second of these doors that I had the one that came with this plane it's even worse this is one I bought on Bricklink and it's just as bad so there just aren't any of them out there it seems so without having to buy a whole new plane I'm going to try another technique and that is to replace these stickers with stickers that I've made now essentially we've just got a red stripe and a grey stripe which align with the red and grey stripes of the fuselage so all I need is the right colours so I've looked through my stickers that I either bought or have left over from sets and I've got this which I think I can take a slice of one of these red stickers and that's four uh, studs wide so if I cut that just right I think there's enough either on the top or the bottom I get a few goes anyway so that's one place I can get a red stripe from and to get a light bluish grey stripe I've got this sticker uh, set from 60104 the more recent airport and that had a light grey and orange stripes if I separate the light grey element from the orange element then I should be able to use that so first of all I'm going to have to remove these old stickers and then I'm going to have to cut and apply the new ones that I've made so here I'm going to cut the light bluish grey stripe from the orange stripe on this sticker to make two. It's much easier to do this when they're both stuck to the uh, sticker sheet itself. So I'm using a metal ruler because they're better at being used with a sharp knife. I'm going to line that up as best I can by eye, keeping as much of the grey as possible. And I'm going to take a sharp knife Obviously, if you're not confident with a knife or you're a young person, do ask an adult to help you. Okay, so let's see, has that gone through? That's gone all the way through. Let's see how that looks. And I've left behind just the orange. I mean, that's pretty bang on if you ask me. Tiniest whisper of grey chopped off. So I think when that's peeled off, 
that'll be a light grey one, sorted. Right, let's try and do the same on here. Yeah, I think I think that's about as good as I can do, but it's it's too thin. So I'm going to go back to my sticker collection and see if I can find any better source material. Right, so I've been through my stickers again, and I found this, which is a four wide sticker, but it's got a much deeper amount of red that's going to match Lego red. I bought this uh, set of stickers because it had a nice keep out sign and I've already used a Beware of Crocodiles sign because uh, it was on the Killer Croc Batman set that was relatively recent. I didn't want the set. So I think I can use that stripe of red instead and I don't need that sticker for anything else. So I'll use the tile as a guide of thickness. Yep, that's a good clean cut. If you can probably just see that. Right, that's the sticker scratched off and you can see this horrible sort of white chalky little bits that it disintegrated into. And now I've got sticky residue all over this piece. So a good top tip is lighter fluid. If you have any lighter fluid that you can get your hands on it will basically dissolve the solvent of the sticker whilst leaving the piece completely undamaged just give that a good rub I'm just using a bit of old kitchen roll you don't want to be inhaling this at all so do it in a well ventilated area. Now it's not going to be very easy to see after I've done it because this is a shiny white piece but I can assure you that already what was a complete mess of stickiness if I try and reflect the light off it is completely polished now So that's a really good clean piece for the new stickers and in a couple of moments that will have entirely evaporated that um, lighter fluid so it won't prevent the next ones from sticking either. So first is the grey sticker so I'll give that a polish with my sunglasses cloth. I've made this little setup to represent the side of the plane so I can get the stripes aligned perfectly. So there's the first stripe. I think that looks pretty neat. Let's try with the red one.
Well, that's pretty good. Good improvement. Well, that took longer than I thought. I think I'm going to have to split this video into two parts to keep it short and snappy. I'm really happy with the results though. As you can see, this is such a massive improvement. So, as always, thanks for watching. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And tune in next time for part two of this video. See you next time!